Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing my solo birthday haul and I say that because I'm just going to include everything that I've gotten in the last several weeks, not just my birthday stuff. And my birthday was at the end of June. I had a really nice week, I guess, uh, going out to dinners, which was not great for my weight loss, but it was good for me. I had a great time and the day of I actually had to go to a wake not something that you want to do on your birthday but it was a for a family friend and I wanted to be there to lend my support I mean they were going through a really tough time so I went there and then the rest of the day I had spent with my family we had Chinese food which I don't eat that all the time so I uh, enjoyed myself and it was just a good day uh, so the first part I'm gonna do is makeup, beauty, skincare, things like that, and then I'll do a part two, which is going to include clothes and uh, accessories and a pair of shoes. So let's get started. Oh, you know what? First, I wanted to mention uh, these earrings. They're from J. Crew, and I just decided to throw them on. I thought this, these little, I don't know what you call them, but. Uh, I thought they would match with the bottom of my or the top of my pineapple and they're gorgeous They're just so heavy. I just I don't know. I can't wear these for long periods of time So I want I what did I want to do complain to you about my earrings? And, oh, yeah Happy 4th of July because you're gonna be seeing this after the 4th of July I'm gonna be at home because it's gonna be I think rainy where we are and I know that's a bummer for some people because 4th of July means barbecue and pool anyway Let's get started. The first thing, I actually dropped it on the floor. Always a professional video in my world. Uh, this is the Swiss Burst Cotton Rounds. I was just getting down to the last bag, and I always like to have a backup. I use that for everything, removing nail polish, uh, taking off my eye makeup, a bunch of things. Uh, next is the Top Care Moisturizing Dry Skin Lotion, and this is compared to Vaseline Lotion. I believe this brand is from Wegmans. If I you know, I go to so many places, it's sad that I can't remember where I got something. Uh, but this is really nice. I like it. I've used it several times. And the one that I was using that I had to get rid of was the Dial. Uh, it was seven days of something. And it, the scent was just not good. I didn't like it. I gave it to my grandmother and she is has been using it. So I'm glad it didn't go to waste. Next is the Eco Tools stippling brush and this it comes in this little package and I love echo tools or oh, did it again can't pronounce the word I love this brand of brushes I think they're uh, the ones that I have are really good and I've been wanting to try this one for a long time now it's beautiful I love how this brush looks and I can't wait to use it I think you could use this for so many things contouring blush I even foundation and I'm excited to try it so I got that uh, got several hair things this is the style sexy hair uh, this is control maniac seven shine and seven hold and I wanted since I've been create doing my hair a lot more I've been wanting uh, just to you know try out more products and this looked really uh, like something I wanted to try and it smells good too so it looks like that and We'll see how that works out. Uh, then here is something for men, but I got it. This is the American Crew Alternator. It says Flexible Styling and Finishing Spray. And I, I'm i using the Tresemme, the Mega Firm Control Tray 2 Spray. And I like it, but I'm not in love with it. You can really feel the crunch. I used it today. Um, you can feel the crunch, and I wanted something that has a little bit of softer feel. And I thought I had one more hair thing, but... Oh, yeah, here it goes. Uh, this is the Mystic Divine Argan and Manoy Oils Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. My sister actually got this for me. She had some Sally's Rewards thing. And this smells exactly like those sunscreens. What is it? Tropic Sun? Or I forgot the name of that brand. Uh, and... Tropicana something. Anyway, Banana Boat, those kinds of suntan oils. It smells exactly like that, and it's a really thick conditioner. So it, that's going to be great probably for my thick hair because it always seems so unmanageable, even though it's straight. Uh, then here is something fun. This is the Spa Gel Toe Separator. So you know how the, I mean, the one I've been using is like the foamy kind, and the 
it's been ripping and it doesn't want to stay. So I thought this would be something that would be a little bit more long wearing. And I got this from Amazon, but I've seen them on eBay as well. And this is uh, finally a makeup product. Uh, this is the Maybelline Master Highlight in Pink Rose. And I... I had said a while ago in a previous haul or get ready with me that I like this I like the mauve one that I got enough to want to try it but the mauve one that I had gotten it just there was like I don't know something in there that made me I felt like my cheeks were looking a little bit muddy or dirty so um, I I got this one anyway just to see and it's a beautiful color So we'll have to see how it looks on my face. Next are a bunch of things from H Mart. This is the Shiseido Nature Girl or Nature Girl face wash. And this one is for pore minimizing. So I'm really excited because I feel like my pores have become, become gigantic. And I'm trying to minimize them. Then I also got this scent shower towel. It's one of those kind of like exfoliating towels. I love these. I've been using this for a, this type of washcloth for a really long time. And it's just another way to exfoliate your skin without having to use an actual, you know, exfoliating uh, lotion or not, it's not a lotion, but you know, those exfoliating uh, products. And then I got, oh yeah, I got this because the one, the one I have in the shower is getting, looking a little drab. It needs to be replaced. Then I got a bunch of face masks because I was running low and H Mart is really good about stocking New, they have the usual standards, but then they always introduce some new ones. So here is the stale one. It, look, it feels like it's going to be really, really moisturizing. Uh, this is Fido Placenta. Some of these are going to be really strange. Bee Venom. Collagen. And then Pearl. So, And they, all of these feel so saturated, which I am really excited. I try to do these about two to three times a week. Um, wish I could do them more, but it's kind of a hassle the she, to put a sheet mask on your face and make sure it stays down because it wants to lift up. So, uh, yeah, there goes my opinion on face cheap mask okay and now of course no birthday is complete without sephora and i did pick up the birthday gift this is uh you know the nars lip crayons and i was excited to try the one in the one that nobody wants to say the name where is it rikujian rikujian you guys know which one uh so uh this is the, that that's that one. Oh, it kind of matches my nail color and then this is Cruella, Cruella and I've never tried NARS uh I've tried NARS lip products but not never these so I'm really excited and I feel like these are a great size <laughs> okay so let me swatch some this is Cruella and then this is Rikujian Can't wait to try these on my lips and then well, i got something else at sephora and i love getting i've been loving getting value sets sometimes i feel like you get uh gypped when you, you when you use value sets but the ones i've gotten in the past have been really good and this one looked really intriguing this is a sephora favorites time to prime a head to toe primer kit and i wanted to try let's see Four out of the six products, and I thought that was really a good deal. Uh, it's 25 bucks, so you get the. Sub I gotta do it this way so I can look at it. So this is the Urban Decay Subversion Thicker, Stronger, Thicker, Thicker, Longer, Stronger Lash Primer. And you guys know I've been having problems with this eye, and the lashes um, seem to be coming under control. But anything else to help it? Uh, the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I've been looking for a new primer and I've heard great things about that, so I want to try that. The Style Extender. Uh, this is the Bite. What is that called? The Bite. Bite Beauty Line and Definer Primer. Uh, not really too interested in that. This is the Hourglass Hourglass Mineral Veil. Something else I want to try. And then this is the Formula X. Prime base coat. I don't use a base coat, so this is something new for me to try. And let's see if I can open it. I did bring a pair of a pair of scissors, but where did I put them? Oh, good. Somewhere where I can't see. Okay. 
I'll try something else to open this so you guys can see what it looks like. And I believe I've I've seen this on the website and at stores. So look at this. And I think that's really cute the way they set it up here. And I'm excited to try all, well, like I said, almost all of these. And I thought that was a really good value. And then the last thing I want to share with you is this is the main birthday gift that I got for myself. And it's from Mimi Box. I've gone through and have used up or started to use all the Mimi boxes that I've gotten and I've been itching to get another Mimi box so I thought I would treat myself and get two boxes and the scissors I was looking for were right in front of me. So I haven't opened it yet up and what you're going to be seeing, I'm going to be seeing for the first time as well. Okay, let's open this and it's really fast shipping now that they are shipping from San Francisco, California. They put a bunch of these in there, which is a cute idea, but it makes a mess. I know, I just, I'm a baby. Okay, uh, this is the first box in here. So let's see, I don't know what this one is. Oh, it's the Fountain of Youth box. And it looks like this. And it looks like you get five products in here. The one item that I knew was going to be in here was the Black Food Complex, the Black 17 Sleeping Pack. And somebody had wrote a review on it, but she didn't want to spoil it for us. So she just mentioned uh, this one item that I think it was even teased before by Mimi Box. So this is what that looks like. It's full size. And let's see. Ooh, it looks so interesting. Very Asian of them. I, you know, I have said this before, but a lot of Asian skincare is very gel-like, watery consistency, and that is no exception. And let's see, that one is uh, seventeen dollars. Okay, next is the anti-wrinkle and whitening skin snake. Oh, I've heard of that before. Uh, ampule. And now that I know when to use an ampule because I have a list that I follow, uh, this is, I'll know how to use it. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's one of those dropper things. Looks like that. And that is, this one is $31. Then we have the Black Caviar Anti-Wrinkle Emulsion. Emulsion. And that is by Halika Halika, and it's $30. And this feels really heavy. Whoa, it's beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> so, what? Oh, okay, it's kind of like, I don't know what it's going to be like. Emulsion, I feel like it's, um, it's like a cream or something, like a liquidy cream, I think. Let me see if my thing says it on there. Yeah, moisturizer. Okay, uh, then we get we have the UV Cut High Protection Sunscreen by Secret Key. And this is $30, uh, $10, sorry. Uh, so this is a sunscreen, which is nice to have, and I feel like um, if that works out, it's going to be good because my skin is very sensitive, and I feel like Asian products tend to be a little bit more on the sensitive side. It's just my opinion on stuff that I've tried from the, in the past. And then the last thing is this SMP, which stands for Shining Nature Purity Marine Collagen Wrinkle Care Essence Sheet Mask. So another sheet mask, which I always like, and this is $3. I'm really happy about this mini box. It's called Fountain of Youth, and there's several things in here that I have never heard of, and I'm excited to try it. I mean, the sheet mask, uh, you know, I know what to do with a sheet mask and the sunscreen, but the other three products that I sh that I showed, I am excited to introduce that to my skincare routine. It's something new. And then this Mimi box, which is the last thing I'm going to show you, was the reason why I placed the Mimi box order. It was a mystery box, and you were guaranteed at least at least $60 worth of products. So let's see. I don't know what's in here. I just actually have to get rid of all of the stuff uh, to dig this out. Okay. Not me box. Not just any box. And let's see. Ooh, okay. Okay. So the first big thing in here is the Clean It Micro... Dust Shield Function Micro Foam Cleanser. It's by Vanilla Co. It's 
something smells minty in here. I wonder if that's... Oh, no, it's closed. Okay, next is the My Ipkin. I think that's how you say it. Gel Stealer Royal Affair. Long-wearing, waterproof liner that glides on smoothly like a gel and smudge-free from dust to dawn. Oh, I'm really excited about this. I... You know, I'm always wearing black liner, like today, but I love using blue eyeliner on my eyes. I just don't do it that often because not a lot of things are water, uh, waterproof or long wearing, and there's fireworks going off, which is, it's okay. Um, I just, I'd rather have that than the motorcycles and uh, the fighting. That's usually outside. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and let's see. really nice blue but it doesn't go on as creamy as I would like well let's see how it goes on on the eye and then here is lip color stick by Leo L and this one is in the color Ellie I think I'm not sure it's it's in Korean uh, so I'm excited about this I love crayons and I've had lip crayons and I've had really good luck with lip products from Mimi box and then this Oh, you know what? Let me show you before that. This is another sheet mask. I bought a bunch of sheet masks and I get a bunch of sheet masks. Okay, this is the Prestige Skin, skin Ache. It's skin reduces appearance of fine lines and provides continuous firming and leaving of your skin smooth and elastic all day. And this looks like it's going to be huge. And the last product is the Hattori Sando Dino Plats. I have no clue what this is, but the box looks interesting. And even the product itself, the graphics are so interesting. And I really like it, but I don't know what this is. I'll have to look it up. It says Dino Plats Pearl Bay Invasion Baby Pink Clam. I don't know if this is a makeup item or a highlighter. It looks like this. If I find out what it is, I'll put it somewhere over here so you guys could know as well. So that was the mystery box. I'm kind of excited to use some of these products in here. I wish they would have given something else rather than a sheet mask. But, I mean, that's the gamble that you take when you order a mystery box. And I would probably order another one. I just... I don't know if that's a glutton for punishment, but I just like being surprised. And that is my semi-somewhat birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you guys soon.